The Kepler Space Telescope is a telescope that has been orbiting the Sun since 2009, and its whole job is to look for what are known as exoplanets, planets orbiting stars other than the Sun. It stares at a single patch of the Milky Way without blinking forever. And what it's looking for are flickers in starlight that indicate a planet passing in front of its sun, slightly dimming the light that reaches us. The biggest goal of the Kepler mission is to find what astronomers call mirror Earths, planets like ours around the size of Earth orbiting in what's called a sun's Goldilocks zone, the place where it's not too hot, not too cold, just right for water to exist in liquid form. Water, of course, is the essential ingredient for life as we know it. What we just discovered were two planets that are orbiting their sun in the Goldilocks zone, almost certainly warm enough, but not too warm, not too cold for water to exist in liquid form, and they're also close to the size of Earth. This suggests they could be rocky worlds like Earth is, as opposed to giant gas balls like Neptune and Jupiter are, and that's significant because that's an easier place for life to take hold. Missions like Kepler are important because humanity is a little bit like fish in an aquarium. It might be the most magnificent, most richly equipped aquarium in the world, but we're on one side of the glass. We're looking out. We're looking across the living room, out the window of the house, down the block. We want to get there. Our curiosity makes us ache to get there. 